So uh, we've been doing a lot of polls on the show lately, uh, but uh, we haven't given you an update in a while, so I wanna give you an update. Um, Ooh, this is fun, I like this. Okay, uh, this was a, a kind of a tough one that we asked uh, the other day um, on, a, on a really serious story about civilian deaths. Because under the Trump administration, civilian deaths uh, in the bombings have increased exponentially. Um, he said he'd murder their families. Okay, so I asked, but it was a real question and we set up why you might wanna do this and well, of course the downsides of it. Would you execute three civilians if there was a 50% chance you could take out a terrorist compound? Now granted that terrorist compound could kill a lot of people, mm -hmm. right? Uh, nope, 15 and a half percent saying uh, they would take out the terrorist compound. 84 and a half percent saying no, if it meant killing three civilians, they wouldn't do it. Uh, and trust me, we kill a lot more than three civilians. Yeah. We've killed dozens and in some strikes, hundreds of civilians uh, in and not even gotten the terrorist. Okay. I love our audience, like, I really do. Yeah. That shows that sh shows you something about them and their the morals that actually matter. But anyway, let's continue. Yes, on. so now the next one was a lot lighter. Uh, Donald Trump was uh, not threatening to, his government is saying that they are, are gonna let the ISPs look through our browser histories. So. Mm -hmm. The internet service providers, the Comcast, Verizon, etc. Because of the laws that the Republicans passed, we'll get to see if you went to porn sites where or wherever you went, right? right? So we asked, should Donald Trump release his browser history? If he's gonna make us submit to that. Unsurprisingly, 96.5% said yes. I like the 3.5% and we're like, no, no, he should get our <coughs> browser history, but we shouldn't get his. Do you think Trump watches porn? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know, I paused for a second because he's kind of a weird dude. Yeah. He doesn't drink alcohol, mm -hmm. and you know, he's up all night and yada yada. But think about all of the sexual things he's done in the past. But he's not very good with computers, though. Yeah. He has his Twitter thing, but otherwise he has to have printouts. Yeah. So, but I I came to the conclusion yes because he is a male Homo sapien. Right. So, You're probably right. unlikely that he doesn't watch porn. Okay. Should the Democrats filibuster Neil Gorsuch? Another serious question. Another no brainer. 93.8%, 94% basically saying, of course they should filibuster Gorsuch. Jeez. But no, and I, we did that not because we wanted to like get like a ha ha poll. Uh -huh. Like, oh yeah, see, you guys should do it. No, it's to point out to the Democrats for actual progressives, this is not a close issue. Right. Okay. Uh, and and you by the way you can see on uh, where you can vote on on the side of all of these. The first one was tytnetwork.com/civilians. You can still vote. We are continuing to track it. La, uh, the browsing one was tytnetwork.com/browsing. That last one was tytnetwork.com/stand because we we wanted to show it's not just us, mm -hmm. the audience, the actual progressives in the country wanting to take a stand. In Washington, that's a 50-50 question. Yeah. In the real world, it's a 94 to six question. Okay. Should we have the next one? Should we have sympathy for Trump voter whose husband is being deported? Um, <laughs> Why? Wow. First of all, it's insane how many people voted. Second of all, ah oh man, it's definitely a bleeding heart liberal thing because I'm in the no category for sure. Well, but that's interesting. I thought the yes was fairly high. 28.7% said, yeah, we should have sympathy for her. I know she voted for Trump, but it sucks that her husband's being deported. But 71.3% of you, which Anna still doesn't find high enough, said no, no remorse. Sad day for you, you yeah. shouldn't have voted for Trump. I, I wanna be clear about something though. I feel a great deal of sadness for the husband, but not for her. Because of the, the line of thinking that happens with some Trump supporters. This idea that they're superior and their lives are more superior than everyone else's. And so no one's gonna touch me, I'm not a bad person. My husband who's undocumented isn't a bad person. It's all those other undocumented people, get him out. Like I, that kind of mentality drives me nuts. And so that's why I have no sympathy for her. But for those who do, you're better than I am, so thank you. <laughs> You're better than me. Okay, <laughs> tytnetwork.com slash remorse to vote on that one. Last one was just another super fun one, small tiny poll. Uh, who has the best alias? Uh, Donald Trump with John Barron, only 3.6%. Wayne Tracker, that was Rex Tillerson's fake uh, alias and 14.3% uh, or his alias, his real alias, <laughs> his fake name. Uh -huh. uh, but the big winner uh, showing how nonpartisan our audience is, they still thought Anthony Weiner was the biggest clown with the alias of Carlos Danger at 82.1%. How are you gonna compete with Carlos Danger? 
Wayne Track is pretty damn good, man. But but Carlos still got him. Yeah. If you're a member of the Young Turks, you not only get the whole two hour Young Turks show on demand anytime you want, ad free, but you also get so many other shows, old school, you'll love it. Aggressive progressive for guys who are true progressives. Now also Nerd Alert for gaming and tech, what the flick for movie reviews, you will love it. Check it out right now at tytnetwork.com slash join.